Eagle John once again with part four of Easy Basic Compass. These, this here is what you will see on the bottom of your map. If you live on the west side of the agonic line, that's zero degrees in, uh, declination, you'll have this map as an easterly declination. If you live on the east side of the agonic line, which is zero degrees, you'll have this, a westerly map, which shows you the west declination. So this example will be eight degrees declination. The star will show you true north, or we'll say TN, and MN is magnetic north with a little harpoon on it. So there's a lot of little sayings that you can say that rhyme <clears throat> excuse me, that rhyme and make sense. But for right now, we're going to make it a lot easier than that. We're going to take our compass. You don't have to lay it. I'm just laying on here for an example. So I'm lined up with direction of travel in my north. And of course, this is pointing toward magnetic north at all times. So I'm going to turn this from the star to the magnetic north, 8 degrees. I don't really care what these lines are showing right now. I know 8 degrees, it says 8 degrees, numerical 8 degrees on there. So I'm going to turn this toward the magnetic north, 8 degrees. There's 5, 6, 7, or wait, sorry, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8 degrees. So there's 8 degrees, 2, 4, 6, 8. So now that is my new heading is my direction of travel eight degrees so as long as I keep this on north as I walk that direction I'm now walking the correct direction to where I need to go on the map and of course it's the same way for that for this side for the westerly I can want to turn it Except I'm going to turn it from north, my star, to my harpoon, this direction, if I'm in the westerly, doing a westerly declination, and I move it 8 degrees. And of course, this is going to move, always point, be pointing toward magnetic north once again. So as long as I keep that on magnetic north and I walk direction of travel, now I'm walking true north. I'll get to my destination. And this gives you a little, the last diagram I drew in part three of the United States compared to the declination lines on the map. That might make it make a little bit more sense. Appreciate you watching.